Hi, my name is David Broussard and I would love to study the Maris program at the University Côte d'Azur. My passion for the ocean goes back to my childhood when I started with wakeboarding and ended up being fascinated by everything that involved water, like surfing, stand-up paddling and freediving. During my Bachelor of International Business and Economics in Augsburg, Bavaria, I was predominantly involved in the field of statistics, where I studied a marine conservation project for my final thesis. It has always been my goal to combine my background knowledge in economics with the area of marine sciences and conservation. Therefore, my Bachelor thesis deals with the third Southwest Indian Ocean Fisheries Governance and Shared Growth Project, short Sweo Fish Free. It has been initiated by the government of the Seychelles to improve the sustainably used marine protected areas and the sustainable development of the so-called blue economy. With the help of collected data in the field of fisheries, the marine environment and spatial coordinates, I traced the progress of the project and determined the impact in the broadest sense. The Seychelles are exposed to environmental changes that threaten both the marine life and the economy. Declining catch rates have been recorded, making action necessary. Through the Seychelles Marine Spatial Plan Initiative, the Seychelles has set itself the target of declaring 30% of its exclusive economic zone as a marine protected area. The specialty of Suyo Fish Free is that it draws on various sources of funding, like impact investors that are part of an innovative finance method for island countries. For my case study, I would like to introduce you to the CQSA project, which caught my interest in the last few months. The project is one of the many sub-projects within the Suyo Fish Free and is coordinated by authorities like the Seychelles Fishing Authority. Due to the importance of sea cucumber fisheries in the Seychelles and the ongoing downward trend in catches, this co-management plan has been brought up in 2017. The project has two main objectives. First, the characterization of the diversity of sea cucumbers and second, the proposition of management measures through new developed information systems. Within the project, the authorities determined the size and maturity and genetic structure for the four main commercial species through the analysis of molecular markers. They were able to gather 950 DNA samples from eight regions around the Seychelles. The lack of biological knowledge makes it difficult to set appropriate minimum catch sizes. So the introduction of size knowledge and fertility is the top goal of this project, since the sea cucumber must reproduce to increase or maintain the stock. As part of the second objective, the focus laid more on the optimization of the monitoring of the fishing operations. They estimated the sea cucumber abundance for spatially explicit fishery dependent data. With experimental fishing data from 621 dives, they developed a statistical model that efficiently predicts the catch per unit efforts based on depth and dive duration. The development of an information system called BDMR 3.0, which makes use of this model, laid the foundation for the estimation of total abundance of sea cucumber stocks. It allowed them to accurately map the, the catches in each dive location. The Seychelles are also very aware of the socio-economic challenge in this area. Therefore, the IRD developed a smartphone application that functions like an electronic logbook. Fishing data can be entered for each diving location. The data will be transferred to the BDMR 3.0 system and the data on this for the statistical model will be updated on the Seychelles Fishing Authority servers. In 2018, several trial smartphones have been handed out to skippers. Through workshops and the involvement of fishers, they are able to create a framework in which data is collected, fishers are educated and feasible management plans implemented. I hope you enjoyed my case study and thank you very much for considering my application. I'm really looking forward to see you all.